Oh, hey, mm-hmm. hey, mm-hmm. oh, hey, ho. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Loading screen mm-hmm. spoilers. Mm-hmm. Look at space. Isn't it so much better? Out of my way. I am Colonel Tobin of the Underon Mit. Oh, oh, Lord. <laughs> I bring news of the Jedi, a place where you may feed. Do you like restored content, Willie? Speak to me of your feeding. Telos, Master. There is an academy wow. of Jedi on Telos, perhaps hundreds of them. They had to tell you that? You didn't feel it? I guess you didn't feel it. And enough for you, enough for you to free Onderon. Also, guess Uh what? You know why he can't feel it? Because there's no one fucking there. Except one Jedi. (laughs) So, we didn't even hear... The voice that time. Mm-mm. He didn't, well, again, restored content. Yeah, so they didn't have the. Exactly. Exactly. Here we fucking go, boys. Here we fucking go. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Oh, look. This room is not how I left it. There was like 30 bodies here last time I, I passed through. <laughs> Well, this is a different area. This is the. This is the. Oh, you're right. It's the other side. The. uh, Yeah. That's a true, true. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh huh. Oh, God. Uh huh. I left you on the ship. She, uh. She did her own thing. What if I brought her with me? Sometime. It plays up the same way. She's just. No, she's in your party. She just does it. Okay. The years have not been kind to us both, it seems. But perhaps now they will see the truth at last. Who the fuck are you talking to? It is not as it was. But perhaps that is for the best. We were wondering when you would arrive. This moment has taken some time to reach us. And I imagine you have many questions. Or perhaps you've come for revenge. Fuck off! (sighs) Don't. Did you not go to join him? Answer the brick wall. But Atris, she has not come. Of course she has not. (laughs) <laughs> Took you a second. Took you a second. Uh, <laughs> Atrius isn't here. Of course not. Yeah. Remember that was the whole point was, hey, yeah. Atrius sent us off to go reunite the Jedi. Yeah. And she's not even fucking here for it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Took you a second. Took a second to well, click. Well, it, it's not even a click. It's not It's not about click it's as much as it was, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that thing she did. Yeah. Yeah, that one time. Yeah, you're like, oh yeah, right, her at the end of Onderon. <sighs> oh boy. All right, Wooly, you want your answers? Here you fucking go. Ask away. Uh, hey, uh, handmaiden, about your sisters. Yeah. You know, like it's it's not it's not looking great. Mm-hmm. Visa, fill her in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she knows what's up. Give her the deets like you refuse to give me. Yeah. Okay, so we missed ally. If hold on, um, did hold on a second. Was there some uh, like a dialogue skip problem there? No, nope. everything's fine. Okay, yep. all right. For just a second, I was. No, nope, we're good. Okay. We missed ally. If we were to stop this, why'd you cast me out? <laughs> oh, hold on. Why were you all in hiding? Hold up. Oh. The universe is saying otherwise. Yeah, there was something fucked up. See, something fucked up. Fluff miss. Okay, but Let's it is it is missing something. If it is if it is, it'll keep doing it. Then yeah. 
this is not the time for Skip's dialogue. I this know. This is fucking not the I time. I realize that. Did I not save right before walking in? If I'm not mistaken, I think I saved right after we People walked in. People are saying it's not a fuck up. Not a glitch. It's fine. All right. If it, well, I know this part pretty fucking well. This is a pretty memorable part of the game. If we start knowing di missing dialogue, it's going to be pretty obvious. Okay. So if just it starts happening, let's just... Universe making me a little bit paranoid uh -huh. because the game has some bugs in mm -hmm. it. So if we're fine to continue, then let's just do so. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Anyway. Uh, why were you all in hiding? I need to know what you spoke of when you cast me out of the order that many years ago. I have I've come, come to, to kill, kill you all. all. Right. So let's work our way down to this one. Of course. Uh, we work our way down, but we'll start yeah. with why did you cast me out? Mm -hmm. We cast you out of the order because you followed Revan to war. There was no other reason. No, there was another. You had become different somehow. Changed. The war had changed you. You were no longer a Jedi, but we could not tell you why. Some explanations mean nothing unless the one who suffers comes to the answer on their own. What had happened to you was punishment enough, and the Jedi do not kill their prisoners. And Apparently, the universe is saying we missed a bunch of shit. Would have changed us, and I believe so. And that we could not allow. I believe we are missing some shit. Oh, by picking two, you get swerved the fuck out of conversation? No, like there's a chunk that's missing from this conversation. Uh, I say we play it safe and reload. Let's play it safe and reload. Okay, so this, this conversation just fucked up and loaded badly. Mm -hmm. I see. All right. Let's deal with that, and we'll be right back. Okay, so, uh, we reloaded, and hopefully this should fix the bug. Also, uh, we are going to make sure we don't lose any, uh, little extra nice dialogue tidbits by bringing Kreia with us in the party. Mm hmm and just well for, for... We're going in overtime, boys. We're making sure we got it. We're making sure we're good here. We're gonna we're gonna do the conversations, uh, top to bottom. Let's do top to bottom, unless of course the response, unless we're into responses and stuff, because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, that way we don't just pick. Right, the so we new got one. this cutscene again. Yep, we've seen this. We know what happens here. Still some cool shit though. You downloaded the uh, the fix the stars. I'm density, pretty sure right? I did. Yeah, because that looks a lot. It, it looks better. Yeah. The stars look better. Yeah, it looks more natural. As natural as a spaceship with you a know. fucking Sith Lord is. I'm Colonel Tobin of the Underon Mil- Lord, I, I bring news of the Jedi. Envision him. Place where you may feed. Saying. Telos, master. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's an academy of Jedi on Telos. <laughs> Perhaps hundreds of them. Ah. <laughs> to sustain you. And enough for you. Enough for you to free Onderon. Supermassive black oh. hole. To free Onderon. To free Onderon. Mm hmm. To That's what he wants to do. To free Onderon. To free Onderon. Yes, universe, I can pig squeal. <laughs> it... It is different. Oh, this cutscene is... Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, this is different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is true. Free under on. That was the whole point. Why? Because he enlisted the dark, uh, the dark, uh, the Sith Lord there to help him free Andron. That's what he thinks he's doing. Remember they allied with Vaklu? Oh, that is idiot, stupid. Yeah, okay, yeah he's yeah, an yeah. idiot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Forgive me, but I need to rest. Go on. The council awaits. I will remain here. <laughs> What's that smell? What's that smell? <laughs> Yes. Afraid for you. As I always have been, I will be fine here. Whatever answers the Council have are for you alone. What's up, Kreia? Hey. I am tired. <laughs> the journey again. has been a long one, and I need to center myself. All right. Man, though, what is that? 
Are hmm. you by any chance know that much may happen here, but above all, do not forget this. You may trust in me. We cradle each other's lives, and what threatens one of us threatens us both. And if you find you cannot trust me, trust in your training, trust in yourself. Never doubt what you have done. All your decisions have brought you to this point. Oh, that's a red flag. And now, perhaps, they shall see what you have become. It's a good thing they brought Kraya. That's a red flag. I was about to go like, it are you going to see and hear and like mask your presence yes. from three masters in the next room? <laughs> like, are you just going to sit here and like fucking run the blockers, run the shine blockers on them? <laughs> okay. We were wondering when you would arrive. This moment has taken some time to reach us. And I imagine you have many questions. Or perhaps you've come for revenge. That monk, that Did scream. Go to join him. Yeah, mm -hmm. is yeah. the right answer. Yeah, yeah. Face yeah. Face alone. That's Beatrice, everyone going. She's not come. She's of course, she has not. <laughs> what a great cut! <laughs> what a great cut! I love it. Uh, yes. All right. The so, sound of bricks. Top down. To bottom. Top to bottom. Yes. Yes. Top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Just like Visas. <laughs> We must ally if we are to stop the Sith. No. We will do as we have done. We will wait. There's nothing else. I hope everyone heard that controller clench. I fucking hope everyone heard that controller clench. I swear to God, I thought he was about to split it in half. W Wooly. What? But the Sith are attacking the Republic. Wooly. But the enemy has revealed itself. Wooly. We can fight back. Apathy is death. I need to know what you spoke of when you cast me out of the order <laughs> many years ago. That's going to auto end the conversation. Let's keep Four, going on the top. five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, and ten. ten. Fuck you, Vrook. Vrook, shut the fuck up. <sighs> what? What? Yeah, literally. What? The enemy has revealed itself oh, and we, we can, can fight, fight back. back. No, the true threat has yet to show itself. It is waiting for something, us perhaps, to enter the war. We have seen their soldiers, the remnants of their fleet, but those are symptoms of a disease. It is more bait to attempt to draw us out. The actual battle is being fought through the Force, not with weapons of war. It isn't about the Republic anymore. The attack on Onderon, something was attempting to use the planet itself, to feed on it, to draw on the power there. You prevented it, but it was a stalling measure. The next time will be critical. Vrook is shook. Vrook is shook. <laughs> All right, let's... Let's calmly... Let's not let Vrook get to us. Surely the other masters will be, re will be reasonable. Vrook is shook. Uh, you're all hesitating, like you did in the Mandalorian Wars. Which I think is the most appropriate. Pause. Yes, obviously. We grab that. We grab that. We mm -hmm. take it, and we put it in the air. We put a pin in it, mm -hmm. and we hold it above our heads. Yeah. Then we, we must, must act. act. Why did you That's cast me skipping out? skipping to the next question. Why are you hiding? I need to know what you spoke yeah, of when yeah, you cast yeah, me yeah, out. I've come to kill, come you, to kill yeah. you all. What's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. Hey, 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 don't. 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 We've been through this. Just Don't. do this. Like, like, option fucking seven. Slowly walk up to each of them and sniff. <laughs> sniff the air around them mm -hmm. in a slow, long gesture. Mm-hmm. Hey. Hey. You Is are... it just me, or... Have we, have we been... You come here often? We've done this before, eh? We've done this dance? What? You get a little bit deja vu there? You, you come here often? Have I seen you? Yeah, we do what we do. Yeah. We do what, uh, uh, I feel like we've been this exact same... The Jedi gather, if we wage war against these shadows now, then Jedi will die, and we will die for nothing. Whatever this thing is, it must be fought by those strong in the Force. It cannot be fought in any other way. 
It knows this, and that is why it is killing us. If we die, then it will win, no matter what fleet or weapons are brought against it. Well, Rook, the Jedi are already almost dead. Lucky wow. for you, I have 616 points in the Force. The fuck you got? <laughs> what are your numbers? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. so then we've got this. Which, I'm- the universe is saying, do not click on that one first. Yeah, I understand. Mm hmm Why were you all in hiding? Mm hmm I see you have failed to grasp the nature of the enemy we face. Where Jedi gather, Jedi die. But not just Jedi. All things touched by the Force. The last Jedi Conclave was on Qatar, a Miraluka colony. And all of Qatar was destroyed. All of the Jedi killed. Including Master Zar, Master Vandar. A Jedi doesn't care if he dies. Everyone does. But when we fight, when we sacrifice ourselves, it is for others, for the greater good. But our presence must not endanger others. And as long as we were visible targets, we were a threat to everything around us. Please do not let Vrook control this council please you guys literally are infinitely more reasonable despite the fact that one of you doesn't know anything and the other one just fucking gave up well the other one went oh we fucked up and quit. but but yeah, by, but by about... your powers combined by yes. your incompetence combined yes you you can maybe add a little bit of reason where there is none one of these masters was please kill me and we convinced him to go, no. Exactly. And the other one was, uh, which was like, I don't fine. Know. Let's wait till we have everyone to convene. But just form up like Voltron and do not let Vrook steer the conversation, please. Mm -hmm. You kept talking about council this, council that. Well, here we are, here we right? Are. Yeah. All right, now why didn't you track down, down this threat? threat? Also, sorry. We've been trying thing. for years without success. Whatever disturbance in the Force that would cause death on such a scale also clouds it from our sight. It is like a scream in the Force, and finding its source is difficult. It has cast many echoes. Good Though shot. we sought out places touched by the Force, by such events. We went to Dantooine, to Telos, to Doxon. And some of us just left. <laughs> Without the enemy, yeah, we she did. Themselves. They were Sith, that much was certain. But where they were striking from, we did not know. The Masala, if we were to stop the Sith, so that's the thing. That's got, the thing. We're back to the start. Yeah. All right, we skip two, and then we go... So... Uh, oh, no, we did him. Yeah, we've done him. So the last two we have are, I need to know what you spoke of when you cast me out of the Order of the Years of Go, and... Why did you why cast, cast me out? Of, which is the thing that triggered the end. Universe! I know we've been on uneasy terms. Sometimes you seem to know what when I ask for your guidance. Sometimes <laughs> I assume sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So three universe. is the end. To which one gets us more more flavor? Which one gets, shuts the conversation down? Is they it both? Two? They both end here. They both end. Is that what they're saying? They both end here. All right. So are two and three the same shades of the same ending? Effectively, yes. Is that so, what people are saying? Yeah. Okay. And then five is the big end. Yeah. Uh, I need to know what you spoke of when you cast me out of the order because I, you yeah. know, I do know why you cast me yeah, out. But yeah, but I let's also, hear it. Also, before we hit that button, I'd like to point out that one of our party members is literally part of the group that is the threat that is killing all the Jedi. We are standing in front of the council that don't know what's going on, knowing exactly what's going on. That's correct. We know exactly what's going on. We have figured out exactly what is going on. And they don't have and it. Not they only, don't even know she exists. Not only are they like, shut the fuck up, what do you know? They're not even asking. They're not even be like, have you figured anything out? Yeah. Not a question. Not a fucking question. Not even a fucking sideways glance, dude. Yep. Why would you? You're not connected to the Force. Yeah. Go fuck off. Yep. Why are you still here? Mm-hmm. I need to know what you talked about after I walked out of the room, mm -hmm. you know, talking behind my back. Yep. You already know the answer. You've noticed it in those who travel with you. <laughs> Could <laughs> someone just, just give, give me a straight, a straight answer, answer? For the love of fucking Christ. Have you noticed that when you act, 
Others follow. Mm -hmm. Those that travel with you. There's something wrong here. A disturbance in the force. Do not let them hurt him. They follow you without question, without hesitation. Against their instincts, and sometimes against their sense. It is because you are a leader. But that still fails to grasp the meaning of what I'm trying to tell you. Boy, that is so, a... Explain yourself. Yep. I don't think we're animating right now. No, we're a dead straightforward shot. Yep, with no movement in the, in the... Don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. So explain yourself. It is not an easy thing to explain. Surely you are familiar with force bonds. It is the bond that develops between apprentice and master when one truly understands another. It is developed over time through understanding of each other. And yet you do it so easily and we do not know why. You make connections through the Force, mm -hmm. and it mm -hmm. resonates with those who travel with you. Mm -hmm. The resonance is even greater when they, too, are Force-sensitive. Right. Mm -hmm. Your Got actions it. affect others more than you know. You draw others to you, especially those strong in the Force. I fail to see the problem. When you suffer, their spirit echoes it. Take a shot. And when they are in pain, their pain becomes yours. I'm bonding with them. Mm-hmm. Is this going somewhere? Is this going somewhere? This bond, it travels both ways. When you feel pain or strong emotion, it resonates within you. And that is why the Mandalorian Wars echo within you still. <sighs> what do you mean? So all those deaths at Malachor? So you're telling me you weren't responsible for my loss? Moralize, prove it. Um. What do you? What do you what mean? Do you what? Stop being cryptic. We did not cut you off from the. I know. You were merely deafened to it. Yes, we understand this. Because of that last battle of the Mandalorian War. We know, right? Dreams of countless thousands, Jedi and Mandalorians, crushed by the planet's gravity, annihilated. Oh. Their lives still scream across the surface of that dead planet, and within you. I could hear the force over such pain. It's not possible. It was too much for any Jedi to endure. And it is a wonder that you did not die there when thousands perished. All those you had fought with and struggled with. You cut yourself off because you had to if you were to survive. You had hints of it in the war on Doxum. Alicor was simply the final blow. You were deafened. At last, you could hear. You were broken. You were whole. You were blinded. And at last, you saw. When you returned to us, we saw what had happened. You carry all those deaths and Malachor within you. And it has left a hole, a hunger that cannot be filled. In you, we saw a wound in the Force. In you, we saw the end of the Force. I'm clearly... Oh, uh, but that makes no sense. I can feel the force again. My connection is even stronger than before's. Um, I also, also before we get into that, so new lore. The whatever the Mandalorian, whatever the Malachor Five super genocide weapon is, it's gravity based. Yes, they did say that. They, they said, said gravity. They said gravity. It is a gravity based super weapon. They said gravity. Yes. Yes. Um. Uh. Yeah. So uh, that makes no sense. I'm clearly. A force user, as yeah. you can see. Yes. Yes. You can feel the force, but you cannot feel yourself. You are a cipher, forming bonds, leeching the life of others, siphoning their will and dominating them. It is the teaching of these new Sith to feed on others, on other force sensitives. They are symptomatic of the wound in the force. You are a breach that must be closed. You transmit your pain, your suffering, through the Force. Within you, we see something worse than merely the teachings of the Sith. What you carry may mean the death of the Force and the death of the Jedi. Okay. What is the exact effect that I have on people? You know, Hungry Boy? Okay, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, 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 let's go. I'm stronger than I ever was. Sounds, I can feel the force. Sounds strongly. like they're describing Hungry Boy. It, it's 100%. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm just trying to get this link here. Mm -hmm. More Jedi cryptic warnings. My strength 
is proof enough that you are wrong. Um, I am very strong in the Force. What do you... Okay. Yeah. Yes. So you think it is not the strength of the Jedi you feel. He's right. It's all the death you've caused to get here. You feed on it, and you grow stronger. You're like Malachor. It's in you. It's what you are now. You must have noticed as you fought across all these planets, killing hundreds, only to become more and more powerful. Why do you think that was? But what's worse? Video game XP? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it hasn't gone away. It's gotten stronger. And the more attachments you form, the more you draw others to you. And that is why you are a threat to us all. So let me get this straight. Uh, 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 uh... Like, I, I feel like there's more to hear right now, mm -hmm. but I but I can, like... Keep going, keep going if you want, keep yeah, going, yeah, if yeah, you want yeah, the answers, yeah, if you yeah. want hold the on, answers. Yeah, hold on, hold I just, on, I just want to make sure you all know what's going on. And that's why you are a threat to us all. A threat! What if other Jedi went to war as you did, suffered the same events, and emerged as you did? What if everyone could go through what, what I went through? What if there was a crucible mm -hmm. that trained such Jedi to consume and kill? For you, Malachor was that crucible. What's worse is the Sith that we face. I fear that they have learned the lesson of Malachor all too well. It is what allows them to prey on Force users, to become stronger when Force sensitives are near. Somehow they have learned their hunger from you, and so you have brought about the end of the Jedi, and perhaps all the knowledge of the Force. But it is of no consequence. Your ability to make such connections, such bonds, so easily are why you cannot remain. Now, before you turn that fucking lightsaber on... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, Vsauce. Let me get it straight. Oh, 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 what color's so, fucking Kraya? That's a shame. <laughs> Yet, we are alike, that way, blinded one. I would have thought you would walk with him amongst the Jedi. But that is not the way of the Sith, is it? Do not speak to me. <laughs> you, of all of us, have no conception of what it means to be Sith. Why hold back? You are mm -hmm. a threat to living creatures and all who feel the force. You will lead the Sith here, and that we cannot allow. Well... About that! Exile. You must leave. And you must leave without your tie to the force. <sighs> Is it There's really... A punishment reserved for only a few, and only one necessary. But we have the power to cut you off from the force, and it must be done. Is it really betrayal yeah. if she says it in advance? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, so, basically, we're doing this again. Yeah, and also, not only that, but Vrook is like, they clearly learned all this from you. You are the threat here. So, it was you, Dad. I learned it from watching you. And also, from a, uh, from, a, from a game mechanic perspective, we seem to be the only ones doing any real damage against these Sith. Okay, so, 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 right. Let's let's gather from here then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Malachor yeah, Five. Yes. Um, we are recruited by uh, Good Malik to before join. Before that, way before that. Wait, in the beginning. That's, that's the that's you and that's you before the Malachor. Ma that's yeah, literally yeah, yeah. Revan and Malachor. Right, right, right. That, that's literally let's go to war. from Academy into yeah. into yeah. Let's Go to War. Yeah. Big War Boys. We go in. Shit goes down. We mm -hmm. see the whole bits and pieces. It's mm -hmm. going down. Mm -hmm. All right. We get to the point, the decisive moment mm -hmm. where Bayo. Uh, does the pushes, thing. Pushes the button, does the if you thing. will. Okay. Uh, everything fucking turns or dies. Mm -hmm. Uh... I'm just gonna move that mouse, because it's getting... That, yep, yep, yep just getting do that. out of the way. Do Perfect. That. Yep, yep. I um, talk with my hands, too. Don't worry. Uh, everything turns or dies, and then, um... We... Uh, the exile is, uh, basically present to go through almost the exact same thing as Visas. Mm -hmm. And uh, the result is the agony and or pain and or suffering and or overwhelming sensation of that moment mm -hmm. uh, leads to a forced suicide. I guess the exile a subconscious commits. forced suicide to protect you. Yeah. It's like, like, like you, it wasn't a conscious decision. Yeah, exactly. It's but like you did it yourself. Uh, subconsciously, you commit force suicide. Force. I, I'm fucking done Fuck with this. Fuck this. Yeah. You're out. Yeah. Right. Um. Okay. Now you are disconnected, but you also happen to be somebody who was, for some reason, unnaturally 
good at making bo- force bonds yes. with people. Yes, that was one of your tra- that was one of your traits. Yes, just a natural trait of your of your personality. Yeah. Okay. So, as that person now cut off for some reason, uh, as you go through and meet people and go along this entire journey, everyone you meet is kind of just leaning into it and going along with what you say because that force bonding ability to anyone who is adept uh, kind of automatically draws them towards me and mm-hmm. makes them want to listen to what I say mm-hmm. and do. Yes, because if you remember back, even back on Nar Shaddaa when we killed random people from LP funsies, Atten was like, what the fuck? Why did I do that? Right. So people are drawn to following my path yeah. even, either way. Even Mira. Mira, I don't kill Mira. Kills constantly in your presence. And you bring that up and go, you seem to have no problem holding back with me. And she's like, yeah, I, it's weird. I don't know why. And then the entire mechanic of them going lights or dark, mm-hmm. depending on my actions, yes. mean everybody is straight up just following whatever I'm doing mm-hmm. because of this bond ability. Mm-hmm. Now, what I'm trying to piece together here is is the implication that the only reason why I have any force ability returning to me is because I am sucking it out of them. I don't know if it's sucking it out, but more, especially in the way we've been playing, more drawing strength from your companions. I'm pulling their force out of them and giving it to me, mm-hmm. and that's how I'm using force now. Mm-hmm. Because the bond is literally draining it from them, and I don't have any because I was cut off. I'm replacing it with their own. Kind of. It's, that's what would be happening if you were looking at it from the perspective of, like, dark side. Well, the force is no longer within me, mm-hmm. but now it's returning. You're feeling it through your companions, if that makes any sense. But it's, like but it's, but it's more than just feeling it. It's, it's, it's working. Yes, it's using through your, you're using it through your companions, and you're drawing strength off your companions. Right, so that's what I'm saying. Is yeah. I, I'm using, and they are also, in turn, drawing strength off of you. But, but I, am, I am casting with their batteries. Yes. I am doing what I'm doing, using them to do it. I'm still actually empty inside myself because I am cut off. But they're also doing it as well, too, with you. Like, they're, u- they're utilizing that bond to their advantage as well. You'll notice the first time you started feeling the Force was when you immediately met Kreia. Mm-hmm. Literally two or three rooms down the road, you're like, I can feel the Force again, what the fuck? But, um, they're doing it through me as well because they have that bond with me, but like, um, so, it, it, so I guess it's, so it, the implication is that it's a two-way street. But, like, if not for me, uh... Also, don't forget, we're getting the force from the people we kill as well, too. Mm. We're getting stronger via the people we kill. I know you'd be like, aha, XP, ha ha ha, but we are getting the force and becoming stronger through the people we kill as well. Now, that's, that's, that's not the force bond ability. That's just... Is it not, though? Just by being in the presence, you're just sucking it out of the people? So literally, for, for love or hate, whatever, like, being in the presence of the exile means I'm connected to you. Yes. And if I'm taking from you and you're on my side, then I'm using it. And if I'm taking from you and you're not on my side, then I kill you and I got it. I took, I took what was yours. I took, I was connected to you. If you're in my presence, mm-hmm. I'm sucking from you. Yes. You're on my side, then we, hey, this is we we see what we see with the party member. Mm-hmm. You're not on my side, and you and I kill you. I've taken force from you. Yes. Fuck. So, from from one perspective, oh, you can see okay. absolutely how dangerous that is. Because again, what are you describing? A black hole. You are describing hungry boy. Yes, you are describing. That is a hundred percent. Uh, what Nihilus is existing as. Yes. But there's... B- the description is clearly extremely similar, but I don't other know what other chain to draw besides. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds super same. Yeah. Same so energy. We are literally doing the same thing that Nihilus is We are doing. doing the exact same thing that Nihilus is but doing. But we're not doing it from a place of hunger. We're doing it more from a place of companionship and, and trying to do stuff, whatever we're doing. Right? So but, we're not dis- necessarily destroying the Force, but, mo- but the potential for destroying the Force is there. But motivations aside, the fact of the matter is, like, you are siphoning from anyone you stand next yes. to. And this is a thing that 
could happen to anybody who goes through forced PTSD into forced suicide. For the specific events of Malachor. Yes, anything that bad. Mm -hmm. But they're afraid of that happening to anyone else. Mm -hmm. Now, if anyone else went through this, but they did not happen to have that ability to bond with people, it would not have been a big, as big a deal. Yeah, it's because we have the combo of we can force bonds, and, and we are also feeling the force through other people. And the cutoff occurred. Yeah. So, okay. so it makes so us, it, the, it's, it's a double whammy yeah. of, oh, this is the worst combo. Right. This is the right. fucking worst combo so you, it could be. Because you, you emptied everything within yourself, the cutoff occurred, but the bond ability meant that you're, they were now bonding with something that had nothing in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, empty vessel, I'm tethered to you, there's an invisible chain, basically. Also, that brings up a good point, that means Beodor went through it too, because that, he's also force uh, sensitive. Absolutely. Which is also another reason why Kreia can't feel him and sense him. You're bonded to him, she's not. She's bonded to you. She can't feel anything in him, or sense anything in him. But what about everyone else that we're bonded to? Because we're bonded to... But no one else in the party went through the events of... Like, we're talking of about Malachor. you, but Beodor did. He was, he was there. there. He was there. We don't talk about it. He was there. He was but there. But he is he clearly was there. He force was there. sensitive. Yes, 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 yes. True. Which means that he, it happened it, to, to him Beodor. too. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. It happened. It absolutely happened to Beodor. But he doesn't have the bond ability. I, I do. So you're bonded to him because of your ability. So and Kreia is bonded to you because you're bonded to each other specifically. But Kreia is not bonded to Beodor. Therefore, that's why she can't feel it in Beodor. He doesn't have. So basically, the bond ability. But Kreia is. Kreia can't feel Beodor's stuff in the same way that the Council can't feel you. Because he, he created for suicide. Same shit. Yeah, he did the exact same thing. You just didn't know he was force sensitive at the time. And it just so happens that I'm a hungry kid, so yeah. I can I can have this whole thing unfold in this way. Yeah. Uh... Revelea tons? Yay. K, 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 K. Mm-hmm. Um... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How you doing there, Wooly? And it uh, literally applies to, like, everything you kill on the way, to Like, anything. Yeah. All things. Okay, so then the remember, fear... Remember, Wooly, everything is touched by the Force. Of course it is. Therefore, everything you kill can give you the Force. So if this situation... Come into contact with, If rather. this situation can recreate itself, um, because you never know when somebody might have a side effect like this, uh, you can't control it. You, you just have to watch it play out. Mm-hmm. And it already seems to have happened twice. Twice, you say? It already appeared. Well, it whatever it is. At least twice. Hold on a second. At least Hold twice. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. If Beodor went through it as well, then okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right. No. Yep. Okay. Yep. Ah. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, Wooly, we should finish this conversation. Okay, no, I'm see. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Seen it? Yeah. At last, you can see. Who were you? Who was he before it happened? Hungry boy. What the fuck? Like, like yeah, yeah, Nihilus yeah. was there to what? Okay, all that right. That also right. implies everyone else central to this plot was there. Everyone who experienced this had, had to, to have, have been, been there. there. Yes. That means crusty boy too. Ev okay. All right. Everyone. All right. Fucking everyone. All right. Had to all right. No. Nope, nope, nope. yes. All right. Yes. Horizon. Makes see, sense. I'm see seeing the horizon. Good. Finish this conversation, Willie. I will submit to this punishment. Good. Fuck, off. Fuck off. I will. Uh, if this is what must be done, I accept it. Fuck off. I'll fuck off. I won't give up the force. Stop this. Uh, the first one who touches me dies. Stop. Stop. Back the fuck up. Fucking stop. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do not be afraid. Shall feel no pain, but this must be done. Remember when you're like, please tell me that the brook didn't convince them? Danger to those around you. Here we go. You fucking sheep. Enough. <laughs> Step away from it. Step away from it. Truth, and you condemn it? The arrogance. You will not harm him. You will not harm him ever again. I thought you had died in the Mandalorian. Bitch, why are you so right? Die. No. Became stronger. Yes. Is this your new master, Exile? If so, then you follow Revan's path. Her teachings will cause you to fall as surely as she did. She is difficult to see. She's like a shadow of the Exile. 
the hood. How could you ever hope to know the threat you face when you have never walked in the dark places of the galaxy, faced war and death on such a scale? If you had traveled far enough, rather than waiting for the echo to reach you, perhaps you would have seen it for what it was. Did you not hear its call on Dantooine Brook, on its scarred surface, and in the minds of the settlers? I have endured your corruption of my other students. You shall not have this one. Oh! is off. You know Put down, boys. Corrupted so many of the Jedi, so much of the Republic, so quickly. The Mandalorian Wars were a series of massacres that mastered another war, a war of conversion, culminating in a final atrocity that no Jedi could walk away from, save one. And that is what I sought to understand. How one could turn away from such power, give up the Force, and still live. But I see I have never heard a villain monologue that was that reasonable in my life. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That is the most reasonable villain I have ever heard. Uh -huh. Yes. At last, you see. I am one of the Sith, it is true. I must answer for my actions, and it is my wish that only Atris hear my answers. What are we going to do if, if we don't stop her? Then everyone, everywhere, they're going to lose their lives. Soon your ship will come, my master. I will bring him before you, but I will not let you have him. Soon your ship shall come from that which made you. I know you can hear me. I have always known. It is why I followed you. I have destroyed planets for you, General. But now, this once, if we could save something in this galaxy, I need to do this, or I will die inside. Mm -hmm. By the way, all that was restored content. Oh that, no, that, none of that was there. All that, all those flashbacks, all those flashbacks to the ship, restored content. Fuck off. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've gained a new light, light side, side force power, power, force enlightenment. Enlightenment. So that's that power. You can trigger all your defensive ones simultaneously in okay. one cast. All right. What a reasonable villain. Like of this, you know, we talk about man, the villains who are right. Like, like, and please understand that the word villain is like, well, because she's a red Sith. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, according to the rules of the Star Wars, that is a villain. Yes. Yes. But that is the most reasonable it's ever been. Mm hmm. Right? Just the gigantic fingers in the air antagonist. antagonist. <sighs> hey, examine their corpses. I mean, just click, just click. You said corpses. The master is dead, drained of life. His body is worse than lifeless. It's like an absence in the force. Fuck. Kraya did that to them. In one. No ghost for you. 
Remember when we were asking, so there's at least two who can do the same things? No ghost for you. No fucking ghost for you. Nothing, no, nothing. No one with the force with you, asshole. Not corpse, noth nothing, nothing. Fuck you, Rook. You get what you deserve. You don't even get... You get no- mm. Wow. Yep. That is fucking brutal. Yep. So that... That would just happen right there. Imagine that to a planet. And that's what Hungry Boy did. Everything that died... Died... Without the Force. Mm-hmm. Outside of it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fu- yeah, that's- that's- that's bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, before you save, out of curiosity, uh, scroll over to your party members for a second. Someone's gone! <laughs> Someone's fucking gone! Uh, someone's gray. Can't use her right now. Hmm. A hole, just like in the Force. A wound, even if you will. <laughs> in our party. In our party of almost perfect fucking tens. We now have a wound. A hole that existed where once greatness was. And now it has gone. One one might even say... An echo. Seriously, I'll bring a <laughs> bottle. I'll bring a fucking bottle. Let's just fucking go. Oh. Let's just go. I know you have to be at least semi-conscious to know what's going on. But I'll fucking... <sighs> let's do it. Let's do it. I'll drink with you guys. Don't worry. I'll drink with you, audience. Bitch, why were you so right? <laughs> why were you so right? That's the thing, How right? dare you? Oh, fuck. How dare you be so correct? Oh. How can one granny come so correct with it? <laughs> Probably one of the few villains you can point at and go, No, nah, no, nah, I get it. The straightest it has ever been. Yep. The un- It is not twisted. Mm -mm. She did not flip the script. Mm -mm. <laughs> Wow! Just the fact that it's like, you fucking arrogant pieces of shit. The answer is in front of you, and you've- you, you've- like, the solution is right and, in and front of nothing. you. And nothing. And you're not even- fuck Like, you. like- Fuck all of you. I'm sitting there, prepping for the hand clasp, the licked lisp, mm -hmm. the, the licked li the yep. licked lip yep. lips, yep. you know what I mean? The absolute power, yep. the yep. mwahahas. Yep, yep, yep. yep. And it's not even remotely close to that. Mm -mm. It is straight up like, you fucking idiots, mm -hmm. right? Like, I am talking to you about your own stupidity. And, the, and before you lose everything, I'm letting you know how foolish and fucking dumb you are. And, like, laying it down real that, like... This is your choices. Dude, she gave them a fucking chance to turn it around. That's wild. The villain to let the heroes, the Jedi Council, that's the whole point of the exile, is like, here, look, here, here, here's your solution to your problems. Hey, hey, I'm not overthinking it anymore. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Apathy is death. You get you it now? You choose to do nothing? Well, do you fucking understand now? You choose now? to do nothing? You're f you're you're done. Yep. Apathy? You're, 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 you're done. Wooly? And Say, like and like wo Wooly. Wooly? Universe? <laughs> those watching the manga uh, those keeping up with the manga? Those watching the anime. Say it with us here. <laughs> Apathy, Apathy is, is death. death. N not just not just like nice force death where we can come back and talk to you and fucking glow blue and chill out with our buddies. No, 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 uh, Thug's Mansion, mm -mm. as, as mm -mm. Pac would say. Mm -mm. No hanging out on the corner. You fucking gone. You get no afterlife. Mm -mm. <laughs> the atheist's murder. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, die, Christian, no heaven or hell for you. Yup, yup. Nothing. Yup, yup, yup. Oh, wow, that's fucking strong. <sighs> okay. 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 Does the cave make sense now, Wooly? I'm so happy. Wow. I'm so happy. The cave makes sense now? What a character. I'm so happy. What a character. So, early before, I listed off my favorite Sith. The first one being Darth Vader. The classics. Can't go wrong with it. Would you like to guess who number two <laughs> on my list is, Wooly? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Now, now, she murdered some motherfuckers in cold blood, make no mistake. Oh, she's still evil as fuck. She murdered some motherfuckers in the coldest blood. Like, but, it's just, I am so fascinated uh, by the journey to that moment. Mm hmm You know? Um, wow. Okay, let me hit that button. Hold on. Yep, yep. You got some thinking to do? Can you need a second? Give me a second to just let that process. I would like to formally thank the universe. Thank you, chat, for making sure we didn't go down the wrong path together. I know we've had some shots. We've been doing some pot shots at each other this whole time. But I'm happy we were able to come together to make sure that Wooly gets it. <laughs> hey, Wooly, did you figure it out? I kind of figured it out. Wooly, yeah. did you figure it out? Well, 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 look, look, all right? I mean... Now, one now you can actually like it's like okay, just wait, wait we'll we'll get there. You know, it's mm -hmm. one of those we'll get there moments. It's it's been we'll get there the whole game. The whole and I game. know you've been asking the quest now. <clears throat> just think about that from my perspective, for example. <laughs> I know what's coming. Yep. And I'm like, and you're asking the questions, and that's good. Asking questions, being inquisitive, that's yeah. good. But it's like, wooly, wooly, we gotta. Wooly, keep going. Keep going. Keep asking those questions, yeah. but keep pressing on. We're right. going. We're getting there. Just let it happen, you know? Hold that thought. There we go. Appropriate. <laughs> All right. So then. Yep. So then. And even when the council finally convened, and they had a chance to talk it over. Nothing. They still made the exact same mistake. Nothing. You gave you gave you, them the benefit of the doubt. You did it twice. Twice. You did it twice. Yep. 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 Now again, again, make no mistake, she fucking took some lives. <laughs> oh no, she is still the villain. She fucking killed him. She is, but the, she I, is but the villain. But the idea that it's like you did you the whole thing repeated, yeah. Like she is the villain. All right. So now, now it just comes down to I don't want to. I don't want to go to. I guess like this is one of the things where it's like this is all discussion that's like fucking talk about it in the anime. You mm -hmm. know what yep, I mean? Yep, 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 but, yep, yep. But uh, yep, the yep, last yep. thing I'll say is it's like okay, we are now that much closer to the mystery of Malachor. But like now I'm just going like, who was there? At, fucking everyone was there. Everyone was there. <laughs> but like, what I what I mean actually. Is, it's a better question to know who wasn't there. Um, because we know for sure Revan wasn't there because he was in or she was in route. Yeah, I mean, like Kirby was at Malakor. <laughs> oh, Kirby was at Kirby, Malakor. Kirby was. Kirby at... absolutely <laughs> was at Malakor. But now the thing I just like need to fucking get is like, and I I want no reaction from you or you. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever. Yep. I want zero reactions, but the thought going through my head is, like, whatever you are now, Kirby, it, did I know what you were before? Mm -hmm. That's all I'm... That's a curious thought. Mm -hmm. Don't even react to it. Mm -hmm. Don't even react to it. I'm just wondering about, like, mm -hmm. is there... Are you an entity born on that... From that event in the same way I was, and we are, like... This is our this is our fucking you know uh uh the inevitability our, this is our introduction or I'm like is are you or were you someone were you someone I guess and if not that's fine it doesn't matter oh like were you a person before the events of yeah, the yeah, yeah 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 okay and I'll, or were, were, were like what were you Kirby before you came what you are but now the pathway to how you became what you were is extremely understandable mm -hmm. we've seen it. You mm -hmm. know, the pieces are in place. Mm -hmm. So, Poyo. Poyo, indeed. <laughs> all right. Well, guess what, Wooly? Yeah. I bet all of your questions yeah. will be answered okay. in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Okay. Okay. That Asuna, how you doing? Congrats on making it to the best part of KOTOR 2. I know you've been skimming over KOTOR 2 talk on the podcast, but I hope you mention in passing the cave to Pat. I kind of have a bet running uh, on him forgetting and not really Kreia saying apathy is death I see nice uh, so do you miss apathy is death as a line if you if you choose a side you miss apathy is death because you took a side fuck me I get it yeah you get it now you, uh, you don't right, get you don't the apathy the is right death. is the right answer yeah the right answer is to hear her tell you that yeah 
you would because choose to do nothing because that's what that's basically she's saying she's that's for both that's yeah. what, that's the council yes the council yes right does it make sense now right yes to- so you can, again feel free to go back and pick no, no, no. Side. don't even need to do it i don't even need to go back yeah i fucking get it also i'm not gonna lie as i was saying it i came to the realization that oh yeah fucking bail was there like that's something I didn't think about prior to that conversation, but yeah, Bale was there. Had to be, right? He was. He was in the ship. Yep. You nodded and went boop, and then the event happened. Mm-hmm. So he would have absolutely been affected by it. That's something I've never thought of, honestly, until Which is why her, that conversation. And her going through it means that she that she would have no idea yep. that she would have the same thing, right? Mm-hmm. Which also, in theory, would mean that hey, uh, uh, Kirby might fucking be beyond her detection yep. radius as well. Well, that's. The, the big thing is, it's like, it's, oh, you are the only one who survived this, but clearly other people survived this clearly, event. Yes. Clearly other people survived this event. And In the same way of, like, you're the last Jedi, and it's like, fuck off, we're the yeah. last Jedi. And you're, and you, you're all worse off for wear. And then, Nihilus went and did it again. And effectively caused the same event to occur when he went to... Um, the planet and, and sucked it to Qatar. Yeah, and sucked it. And then some, Visa... what, some might say he caused an echo. <laughs> and then Visa went through the exact same shit. Some might say he caused an echo. Yep. Okay. An echo okay. of Malachor Five. <laughs> As is there. death. More Malachor details later, but I didn't kill or turn everyone it, it didn't kill or turn everyone it killed and the aftermath made a nexus also remember when Kraya told you about the triumvirate Nihilus cut her off from the force in the betrayal mm-hmm. and she also reconnects through your bond in the flashback that's what happens Nihilus cuts you off uh... which means that at some point Kreia, Krusty Boy, and Hungry Boy were working together. Well, yeah, that was the obvious in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the cutscene. And for sure. yeah, Nihilus. Like he, everyone, everyone makes the joke of like Krusty Boy like beats the force out of her, but no, Nihilus does it. That because she reaches for the lightsaber and it doesn't move. He cut her off. Yes. So you're actually that both exiles. Kreia is an exile of the Sith, and you are an exile of the Jedi. I know it's been a minute. It's been since Nar Shaddaa we got we looked at that cutscene. But yeah. Yeah, but like But okay, but like uh, un, but rather blah. Yes, there's a parallel, but um I walked in there uh without my force. She, she had she, her pulled she, out. She walked in there with no force, but they could f- you and Kreia could each feel the force through each other. But when, 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 but the, okay, is the implication here that Nihilus took it from her, or the implication is that meeting, she already didn't have it? Oh no, in that, in that encounter, she, he was, she, uh, Nihilus cut her off. That was the cutoff point. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. She had it before that. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Which means that, to answer your question before of, can you feel, like, so these, these people feel the force through other people? Yes. That's what's happening. Kraya is feeling the force through you, and you're feeling the force through Kraya. They can't feel the force through themselves, but they can still feel it through other people. And use it. Yes. Through other people. Mm-hmm. So when you cut yourself off, it's not gone. You're just unable to access it. Through yourself, yes. You can access it through other people, but you can't access it through yourself. But it's still in you. No, it's not in you. It's You're not using in it you. from other people. You're, You're using, using other people as a conduit. So Kreia and you, then, are a sum total of zero force. Technically, but you can still feel it through each other. You, but, but do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Like, like everyone you, else like, that is an adept on the ship... Fa- fanny Pack can't feel the force through Fanny Pack. Fanny Pack can feel the force through Kreia. Through the force bond. Yes, okay. And vice versa. But she has no but she has no access to it herself. The feeling of the force through that bond then allows him to continue using it through her. But if you both are cut off, how you, that's confusing me. You're cut off from feeling the force through yourself does not mean the force is not there. Okay. 
Okay. Like, you are still, by nature, something that has the force running through you. Well, that's, you so just that's, can't feel okay, it. Okay, so that's what I was just saying yeah. before that. You then. still that's... can't... You can't feel it in the same way that, uh... That's... Yes. Yeah, like, yeah, for yeah, example... Yeah, yeah. No, uh, you're numb. Mando, Mandal, can, Ma Candelor, can yeah. Candorus, he, yeah, he yeah. cannot feel the force. Yes. Does not mean it's not flowing through him. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's so that's what I was saying. I was saying that like basically like the force is still within, mm -hmm. but you do not have access to that account, mm -hmm. right? And Kreia, same situation. Now because I can bond still, I can grab from the account you're not using because you're cut off mm -hmm. but i can still use it through you even though you can't use it yourself mm -hmm. and we can both do this with each other mm -hmm. and because of that bond technique that's why how you're allowed to regain your strength is right you form it so easily through people and the bond is like at that point the bond becomes the most important thing in yes, your life absolutely because it's the only way you continue feeling the force yeah and by just and again it's mentioned kind of offhandedly but you did not you traveled alone for 10 years you did not come into contact with anyone for 10 years right. you went by yourself right off into space doing your own thing right. so you never had a chance to form the bonds right um okay now uh the malachor event didn't kill or turn it killed and in the aftermath made a nexus uh, I guess that's just basically, that's that, like, the idea is, like, everyone dropped dead, and there was that sudden, holy fuck, there's a, there's a big gap where there was none before, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Similar to what's happened in Star Wars and a couple other major death events, mm -hmm. right? Um, everyone else, though, is having the same Kraya type relationship with me, but, um, they're all using it through me and I'm using it through them or having the same no type of they thing. they are all still force sensitive the ones they're doing they're doing their force shit they are still absolutely connected to the force as you they're being them. influenced by my forced bond yeah. force forced bond yeah, they, on yeah. them they are still force sensitive and they still act like everyone else in the universe you right. are you you and Kreia are the exceptions in the yes. party and Bayo and Bayo yes uh who then is Still force sensitive, but was then gone, went through the same shit, but is only able to do Use what he's doing through, through me. Us. Yeah, through Fanny Pack. Because of the bond. Yes, again. because again, he can't form the bonds, but you right. can. And you right. can form the bond with him, therefore he can feel it through you. Exactly. So, any, so when two cut off people get together and the bonds exist, they can work, but, yeah. they, only, but they only go towards each other. They only, it's only it's only a, uh, it's a it's a it's a two way street between them, but is the game audio still running? Because I think it's might still be crackling. Oh, sorry, sorry. From uh, judging from the comments here. Yes, it is. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Thanks for dealing with it, by the way. Okay, so yeah, but just to work it out here, um, that's why Kreia to Beodor means null because there's no bond. Yeah. And neither of them has a bonding ability. Mm -hmm. They're just feeding off of you. And also, that would explain perfectly why no one can fucking sense Kreia when she's in the room. Because she's not even... Because there's no force there's there. There's nothing happening. There's nothing there. She's not hiding it. It's just literally nothing. Okay. Yeah. You know, it was not made obvious in that cutscene that mm -hmm. she was being cut off in yeah. that moment. Well, it, the quote prior before that is... Or after that, when she gets hit by it. Or right before it, when she gets hit by that. I can't remember. But it's immediately before or after the event. Is she goes, there are techniques in the force of which there is no defense. That being one of them. Got it. So okay. you, all right. There's no defense against yep. that ability. Yep, 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 yep. yep except, yep, 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 except, yep, yep, yep. So, what if it already happened? Right. Exactly. Exactly. Then no. you can't. So, then so, it won't work. So then. So then. <laughs> right. Okay. So Nihilus clearly displays that ability. Yes. And, uh. That went down at Malachor, the event. Um, Revan went off to find some shit. Mm -hmm. Again, <laughs> Revan was not affected by this. Revan was not there. Right. But Revan kind of knew what was going on. <laughs> the question is... Did are, Revan are, are just... The, 
the 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 the, the, the characters and the literal fucking monsters that were created from Malakor are is Revan aware of that was going to happen or was that just a happy accident of oh fuck <laughs> so it's like again uh, no reaction required but I'm like now I'm just spitballing stupid shit but I'm like did Revan just literally go into the fog of war find a pair of hungry shoulders and turn them this way <laughs> and then give it a push and then it just fucking came and then landed and mm. Bayo has something to do with the situation that I don't know yet Yeah, but I'm kind of just like did you just go find that and pull that shit out of the nothing mm, that could be one thing that could be a way they did it you know or or what yeah or or did Revan find the technique to cause it to happen right 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 because that's right. implied right that's implied through uh what conversation was yeah. that we were talking with where we re oh with the Bastila ho Sith holocron it's implied that the technique was learned okay so, so it could have yeah. been yeah it could have been straight up Revan oh fuck you're cool point go or I guess, it could have been because i was oh i can make this i was thinking about nihilus as the product of sorry not to uh, like look yeah, 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 sorry yeah, yeah. i'm a night owl go ahead okay but I'm more I, I, about you. I i was i was i was i was thinking about uh nihilus as the product of malachor mm -hmm. uh, as as we all are and um the i the the revelation or the under or the the thought that maybe uh, he isn't he can turn it on he can or rather he can uh fucking take it he can be like he can cut you off Mm -hmm. right makes me go okay that's not the same he's cutting he cut her off he was able to do that so it's like what's up with that then you know that's a little bit different from what everyone else that was i there think went it's through. i think it's implied that that's the exact same thing that kreia did to the council but kreia lived bitch <laughs> i live bitch exactly does that make sense it's the exact same technique Kreia used against the council that was used against her. So you can just learn it. Yeah. You can just learn it. Okay. I mean, it's clearly implied you can just learn it. Yeah, you can just learn it. It's it's a specific ability. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it didn't kill Kreia. Yeah. It wounded her dramatically, but yeah. it did not kill her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it so, clearly kills most. Yeah, that's the thing. It doesn't. It doesn't kill... It doesn't. It doesn't kill everyone, but boy, does it kill almost everyone. If you're fucking, especially if you feel the force strongly. If you roll, uh, if you roll a natural twenty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you roll so, a natural twenty. So you know what that means? That means, Kreia basically has the ability. Kreia and Hungry Boy both have the ability to destroy the force itself. Yep. Yep. Because whatever you use that on, it's it's gone in that spot. Mm -hmm. And you either die because of it, or you live, bitch, and become... Something else. Mm -hmm. uh, and, as an extension, that means we could too. But it's... it's a, <laughs> I mean, sure, so you wanted to call it a stand arrow, you can do that, but it's like, if you don't make it you not only stand arrow is actually a good idea actually is a good analogy for it but yeah. right but not only if you die you not only not make it you don't get the jedi afterlife mm -hmm. you are you are a fucking husk that corpse description on their bodies yeah. is super key yeah it's like you don't get to go to the force and be one with the force you are you don't get the force you're gone they were right to be afraid yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were super right to no, be No, that's afraid. the thing. Ultimately, they like, they, like, them going, we were super terrified of what we saw in you. They absolutely were. But the thing is, they were terrified of the wrong person. Right. Because we clearly weren't the problem. Right. And we were clearly, excuse me, we were clearly trying to solve the problem, not create the problem more. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The irony is, as they said, the pro one of the problems was literally in our shadow. Which was Kreia. Man. I, I like, yeah, it's, it's, it's that, just that, that idea of you have a comfort of this thing you've always had. Like, how we, we, like, we, the first time we had this discussion, we focused on, like, your entire life was about this thing. Yep. What are you without it? Yeah. The answer is nothing. Yeah. 
right? Yeah. And then the second part of it is like, and also, um, like, and this is just going in, this is pure, this is all, all our discussions, but it's like, mm-hmm. but also it is not only a comforting thing you've always had and it's, uh, it's a reassurance of all life and all things mm-hmm. being good. But you're you get an afterlife, sort of. Yep. You return at the end. Don't worry. You become one with the force, and all is balanced. Yep. And everything is great, and you have no reason to fear death. And you don't even get that at the end of it. Now you have Confirm. every every reason to fear Brooke death. Brooke didn't go to the afterlife. It's the void. You Brooke get nothing. went to the void. You get nothing. You don't even get purgatory. <laughs> pass go. Do not. You do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. And you know what? Yeah. I think Rook got exactly what he deserves. Brick by brick, brick by brick. <laughs> the wall. The came other down. two, the other two, not so much. I feel yeah. like they got they got yeah. the, a real fucking bad. Oh deal. yeah, no, absolutely. But Rook got exactly what he deserved. But and but they by letting him steamroll it, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. The they were more sen- I said it. They were more sensible. They had the ability to reason it out. When I talk to them one on one, but when the fucking group comes together, I you know I went to high school with people like that, where when you talk to them one on one, they're super chill. Mm-hmm. But when you're in a group, they have no chill whatsoever. Yeah, in the worst way, and they act out in the worst possible way because mm-hmm. it's all about impressing the group as opposed to being yeah. legit. Yeah, you know, or like I mean, it's I mean, it's a thing we're seeing even constantly now through the idea of social media of like of a. Uh, I'll bring it up at some point, but I was bringing it up off camera. I've been reading a book that's been talking about this and the concept of like, I'll support you privately, but I can't, I can't speak out against the group or I'll get killed. I'll get, I'll get fucking lynched in mm-hmm. the, in this process. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's been a phenomenon that's been going on with social media and the idea of like call out and cancel culture. Yeah. And that like, where the people are like, I know it's wrong, but I can't say anything and defend you because if I do, then I'll get caught. I'll get this. Yeah. I'll get steamrolled too. Right. It's and, just, it's yeah. just like, which one of these two people are you? You know, yeah. like it, it's a very, uh, so anyway, all that I to mean, say, I mean, honestly, if, if that's, if, if you're asking that, honestly, the one they are in the group is the one they actually are. Right. And they're just being a huge coward about it. Right. And it's like, well, there's your true intentions. Yeah. 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 Um, um, apathy is death. Are you dialing it up or dialing it down? Mm-hmm. Right? Apathy is death. Apathy is death. Yeah. They let it happen. They let it happen. Huh. Um, that's a good point to bring up. Thank you. Asana.